What's up, guys? I'm Alessia Cara, and I'm here with FBE to watch teens breaking down my music. Hey, I've seen these. I love, I love the videos, by the way. I'm a fan. We asked teens to break down the lyrics of Here by Alessia Cara without being told the title or who performs I'm it. Sorry, oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, Here we go. I was a brand new artist, and so there weren't a lot of videos on me. And you guys were, like, super early on this. So, and so I remember, like, watching it a long time ago and just being so scared because it's, like... You know, people around my age just like essentially reading my lyrics and like talking about how they feel about it. And it was it was so scary. I'm like, please, please don't hate me. <laughs> I'm sorry if I seem uninterested or I'm not listening or I'm indifferent. <laughs> Truly, I ain't got no business here. But since my friends are here, I just came to. I, it's so weird. It sounds so strange, like seeing it read out like that. Like it just becomes a different thing. It's like spoken word. This is my jam right now. This is oh, me. thanks. I'm like completely. <laughs> introverted and antisocial but like I only go out because my friends want me to totally and it's not even like a peer pressure thing I know a lot of people um have talked about peer pressure I didn't feel pressured it was just like you know your friends are like it'll be fun just come and I'm like yeah okay you know I, I thought it couldn't be that bad if it's people if people I enjoy you know spending time with are there but the thing is is that you don't really spend time with them because they're out doing other things and you're like oh well Okay, <laughs> so, but we've all been there. It's really, I would rather be at home all by myself, not in this room, <laughs> with people who don't even care about my well-being. That's a little darker turn there. <laughs> Your well-being's important. His friends aren't even his <laughs> actual you. friends. That begs the question. You I'm go? glad to, I'm glad to see that he cares about my well-being. That's really sweet. <laughs> I can hardly hear over this music I don't listen to, and I don't want to get with you, so tell my friends that I'll be over here. Okay. So she can't hear anything because the music is bumping. It's mm -hmm. loud. It's popping. Yes. Probably Zane's pillow talk. Let's be real here. Ah, uh, no. That that song wasn't out at the time. I was in high school, so it's not Zane's pillow talk. So it is a guy really <laughs> trying to hit on her, and she's like, piss off. All of her friends that are partying. <laughs> do I didn't really say want. piss off, but she's maybe like, I should have. Some people are more introverted, and they don't, don't don't like that type of thing, but their friends will peer pressure them into going to these parties and they don't even have fun, and that's not their type of thing. I hate the like whole like mindless, like, oh, I'm just gonna like drink. They're doing really home. well. I feel like the girls, the girls are getting it a little bit more. The guys are kind of just like, well, just don't go, which I get, but the girls are like, they get me. They understand what it's like. Excuse me if I seem a little unimpressed with this, an antisocial pessimist, but usually I don't mess with this. And I know that guy hates me. <laughs> I know it. That guy's not into it. I could tell. This girl's just being a to this guy. <laughs> I don't automatically think it's true because like I've been in that situation. Yeah, I guess I kind of was. Well, just in the song, I, I promise I wasn't in person. I, the song kind of let out the real feelings there. I'm sure there are people who go to parties and they're like mm -hmm. they're just there for appearances, but they don't really want to be there. So, and that that's yeah, no, he. I think yeah, he's he's definitely seeing the perspective, which is which is sweet. He, cause you know what, like we've all, we've all been there. I feel like everybody, especially around that age, like we've all been there, like where we've had to like go places we don't really want to be. And I mean, it's glad, I'm glad that they can like be empathetic to that and not be like, well, why don't you like just not go? It sounds like some weird teenage rock band music thing. She kind of just wants <laughs> to have like the music low enough to where they can just talk about things. You know what? I kind of agree. Like when you, when you read the lyrics like this, it does not sound like, a song. It sounds like a run-on sentence that makes no sense. I honestly think they're like really high and having like stoner thoughts. Like, yeah, we're gonna discuss our big dreams, take over the planet. So, pardon my manners. I, I knew hope this guy. I'm telling you. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could say that. I I didn't smoke, but I mean, my, some of my friends did, and maybe that's what they were thinking. I'm not that. That's very cliche. She's kind of like calling out those like different uh, stereotypes. Everybody says that. Listen, everyone's always like, you're like trying so hard to be like the different girl who's like not into it. I never said that. All I'm saying is that I don't feel comfortable in this environment. That's all I was trying to say. I am like other girls. I am a girl, but um, I just didn't like it there, essentially. She's kind of like calling out those like different stereotypes of like the parties. So you have like the guy who's trying to hit on every girl. And then like over here, you have the girl who's in the kitchen talking all kinds of about her friends. It was a thing where like, I didn't intend for that to happen, but that whole night just felt like I was like watching all the stereotypes in one, which is why I thought I, I needed to write about it. Cause it was so like, 
I was like, this is exactly what you'd expect from like <laughs> what this place is. It's like every little stereotype happened to me. She's with the guy who's throwing up because he got drunk or something or someone spiked his drink. She's just like, why, why did I come? That's when the realization kind of comes mm -hmm. when she sees the guys throwing up like, oh God, why am I actually? That's here? very true, yeah. Yeah, it was a guy that I went to school with. He was actually my friend, but he, I was um, on the sidewalk outside trying to, you know, gather my, myself, and he just came up beside me and just threw up on the pavement right beside me. And I was like, it was like one of those moments in like a sitcom where you're just like, really, why? <laughs> I think she should just go and hang out with her real friends. I don't, I don't know yeah. why, why she... <laughs> stays at this party. How did it ever come to this? I never come to this. Oh, so he's he's funny. He, he, he does bring up a good point, but I did leave early, if that helps. I did go home early. Oh, oh, here. <laughs> Just sounds so funny. Oh, 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 here. It does. Oh, oh, oh. I asked myself, what am I doing here? Oh, 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 here. Oh, oh here. <laughs> And I can't wait. Oh my gosh! Can. This is the most relatable song I've ever heard. The thing is, like, I think everybody has these. Oh, when you're in that situation, you just think like, okay, no one else gets this. Like, I'm the only one kind of feeling this right now. And then when you see kids your age or like around your age telling you indirectly that they that they have been there, it's just nice. And I feel like he would have left the party with me. He's a good guy. He, I would talk to him at the party for sure. Do you know the song's title and artist? I don't, but I know I've heard it before. <laughs> I do not. I have no idea. No I get, no yeah, idea. to be fair, I was new. It's OK, no as long idea. as they like the song. <laughs> Alicia Carr has said the song is based off a real experience she had at a bad party and feels that's what makes the music so accessible. Yeah. Yeah, I can relate no, to it. Now he's changing his tune. Now that there's a person behind it, you see? <laughs> she's one of those people that seems like she's like really deep. And so I didn't realize it was literally like, yeah. just like, she's at a party and she doesn't want to be at the party. And that's it. Those I mean, I guess, fun. yeah. Yeah, and that, that song was literally just that. It was just recounting a, a night that I had. And I know like over the years, people have sort of turned it into the, like this like introvert's anthem and... Um, which is great and like I'm so glad that people resonated but honestly for me it was just like I was just telling a story about a time that I was not enjoying myself and I felt like there weren't songs like that. Those were the most mem memorable songs, the ones that are saying things that we won't say ourselves. Aww, he's sweet. He's really, really sweet. Yeah, it's just great. It's great to see people that relate like that, you know, and, and, and allow it to like take on a whole new deeper meaning. You know, something that you, you don't think people are ever going to care about that much or relate to. It's just, it's just really, really nice to see that people do. So first of all, Alessia, thank you so much for being here on FBE. We're so excited to have you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Obviously, you know, things look a little different than they normally do on the show due to us all being quarantined right now. So before we get into everything, how are you holding up right now? Um, I'm doing okay, you know, trying to stay positive and all this. I mean, times are really weird. Obviously, we, we kind of had to adjust um, to like the new norm, which is this. Um, but I, thankfully, I mean, we have all these resources now where we, you know, we can do things that don't make it too difficult. And thankfully, you know, my family's healthy, everyone's good. So um, trying not to like, you know, focus on too many negatives, or at least trying to see the silver lining in, in all of it. So getting back to the episode, this episode that you watched today was actually shot all the way back in 2016. So what was it like to see the teens break down your song here? It was so cool. It was kind of cool to go back in time too, because I was like a brand new artist. Nobody had really heard of me yet. So it was cool to see them judged like totally based on just the words on the, on the screen. And I also really liked how a lot of them were relating it back to their own experiences, because I just didn't think that people related to me that way. So that was the first time I actually, you know, back then it was the first time I actually realized like how much of an impact the things you say can have. So since this video was from 2016, clearly this collaboration that's happening right now has actually been a long time in the making. I know, I know. I'm glad we finally got to do it. <laughs> well, when we heard that you were coming in for this episode, we actually did some digging on Twitter and oh we found goodness. this. <laughs> ah, yes! See? Would love to collab with you one day. And I said, for sure, I'm a fan. I told you. I told you before we started filming, I'm, I'm a fan. I watch you guys all the time. And I used to want to be like a, a kids react um, kid. But obviously, my life took a different turn. But if you'll have me one day, I, I'm still a kid at heart. It's hard to believe that that many years have gone by. Because it feels it, very cheesy, but it feels like yesterday like two days ago that this that this all kind of happened but um yeah since then my life has 
just taken such a turn. I've done things I never expected to do in my in my whole life, let alone in just like four years. So many of us are such big fans of you here at FBE. So obviously you have your film, The Willoughby's, adapted from Lois Lowry's book coming out soon on Netflix. So is there any inside scoop you can give us on the film or maybe anything else you have exciting coming up? Um, yeah, so the movie uh, is probably just one of my favorite things I've ever done. It's my first time acting, obviously, but I love I love the, the whole message of the film. It, it talks about like unconditional love and family you choose and atypical family lifestyles. And in that are a lot of elements that are really realistic and elements that like aren't really talked about in the like other children's movies that, that I've seen. So I'm just glad to be a part of a movie like that. And as far as anything else, I mean, I don't know. Everything's sort of up in the air. I've been writing a lot and uh, trying to like keep busy, but that's, that's my focus right now is thankfully I have something to look forward to and that my fans can can look forward to and I hope everybody enjoys it. So finally, you saw the teens break down your lyrics today. Can you break down what this whole experience has been like for you today? Yeah, um, well, it was a little bit scary watching people react to, to my, my lyrics, especially when they have no outer context for the most part of who I am or what the song even sounds like. Tori, she said she was a fan, which is awesome. And um, the, the young man with the, the glasses who was talking about um, his experience um, with, with that like similar scenario, it was just nice to see him connect that way and like open up and talk about how he feels the same way. It was really sweet. And I feel like we'd get along really well. It actually, it worked out pretty, pretty great. I think everybody had their own views on the song, um, all of which were really understandable and I get it, and I, I loved it. Thanks so much to FB for having me. That was more painless than I thought, thankfully. Um, if you want to watch my movie, The Willoughbys, that would be great. I would love it if you would watch it. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Mwah.